Here we go, at the top of the class on the road, and it's time to run it up, yeah you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor, Hey, on the road, here we go, here we go, yeah we winning by a landslide, never see me coming on my landmine, yeah I ain't taking orders in command like, yeah you about to see me on demand like, you know on demand, if you ain't know, you about to understand, yeah. I got the team by my side, right hand. Yeah, take it to a stream. You ain't seen it like that. Yeah, and it's the dream, and we're coming for the bag. Yeah, and we ain't never going back now. Future expedited, now we on the fast track now. They won't lend a hand, now they see us on the map now. It's time to act out. Here we go, at the top of the class on the road. And it's time to run it up, yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the floor. Hey, on the road, here we go. Top of the class on a roll, hey, and it's time to run it up, yeah, you know, yeah. Mashed out, put the pedal to the floor, yeah. On a roll, here we go, here we go. Here we go, at the top of the class on the road, and it's time to run it up, yeah you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor, hey, on the road, here we go, here we go, yeah, at the top of the class on the road, hey, and it's time to run it up, yeah you know, yeah, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor, yeah, on the road, here we go, here we go. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to one of our, you know, typical fake out premium live stream, half lives. Sometimes I'm chilling in the in the chat live stream type deal. But what is going on, everybody? Unfortunately, I was unable to go live tonight. I have some stuff to take care of. And uh, to be 100% honest, things are pretty much the same as yesterday. So uh, I didn't just want to leave you guys with absolutely nothing tonight. So we're doing a quick little YouTube premiere just to go over some of the local price action. Uh, however, like I said, uh, most of what I'm looking for right now is the exact same thing that I was looking at yesterday. But again, I didn't want to leave you guys with absolutely zero content. I can't be leaving the Candle Mafia out there without the candlelight of your man, Frankie Candles. So I want to jump in here and do a quick little market update for you guys and again just break down that local price action and I kind of want to give you guys the two most likely situations that I see happening in the near future meaning over the next day or so uh, are we going to get this pump to continue to the upside or are we going to see that death cross on the daily start to show face and give us a bigger move to the downside we're going to be covering it all on today's live stream fake out premiere YouTube thing I don't know, guys, but thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you guys for being here. Don't forget to smash that like button. Every hundred likes we get, you guys get a spin on the wheel of pain and pleasure. And the more spins, the more wins. You guys know the deal. We're giving away some crypto. And if we hit 550 likes on this premiere, which we're going to have to hit the like button pretty quickly because uh, <laughs> it's only going to be like a 15, 20-minute video. Uh, usually, we have two hours to get 550. Now, we got like 20 minutes. But smash up that like button. If we get 550, I will add a Frankie Candles hat and a lifetime premium membership to our premium Discord, a.k.a. The Kitchen. Uh, but we got to hit 550 before the music ends on the stream tonight. But, guys, without further ado... I don't want to waste any more time here. Like I said, I want this to be a quick market update. So let's go ahead and jump on into the charts and see if we can figure out what the heck this thing Bitcoin is doing, guys. Here we are on the Bitcoin chart. Now, obviously, guys, not much has really happened since yesterday's live stream, which uh, is kind of a good thing because I couldn't go live tonight anyway. And uh, uh, it just helps that there's not much going on here. Now, first off, I do want to I do want to bring up the higher time frames, right? So I'm going to get rid of that TA really, really quickly here. I'm going to pull up our death crosses 
uh, right here uh, for anybody interested. Uh, I have nothing to do with this indicator, but this is just like a death cross uh, little indicator. Death cross, 200 moving average, uh, 50 cross checker, it's called. It's uh, pretty nice. It just pulls up the, uh, it just pulls up your moving averages automatically and marks out the crosses for you. However, you guys can see here, we have confirmed the death cross on the daily now. I know everybody likes to see this as like an end-all, be-all, oh my god, death cross, this thing's going to the ground, and oftentimes, guys, that is what winds up happening, um, but they're not all as powerful as they sound, right? Death cross makes it seem like we're going into another leg of the bear market, um, but here's the thing, they're not always necessarily that powerful, and they don't always bring you down like 70%, right? That's not all the time, so um, I do just want to kind of preface the things with that. Um, however, we have gotten that confirmed death cross on the daily. So that is something to keep in mind. And as you guys know, as we were getting this move down, everybody was super concerned about this death cross. And uh, we were kind of talking about uh, on the live streams, we were going back and actually back testing some of these previous death crosses. And it's pretty clear um, that not every time you get a death cross, you get an instant dump to the downside, right? Oftentimes, you actually get a fake out to the upside before rolling around and coming back down lower. And as you guys know, ever since, excuse me. Ever since we've been hanging out at this macro value area low, it's not on the chart right now, but if you guys watch the show, you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, when, we hang, when we're hanging out down here by this uh, key level of support, you know, we were looking for a significant bounce to come in here. Uh, well, I won't say a significant, but we were looking for some kind of a retracement to come in here. And some of the specific things that we were looking at were things such as the daily bullish divergence with our lower lows on price action, higher lows on the momentum waves. Obviously, this is something we've been looking at for quite some time. Uh, but... We have the confirmed daily bullish divergence, and you can even see here, at least locally, your money flow is starting to come back up just a little bit. And uh, we have that confirmed, right? Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're about to moon instantly. However, a lot of times when you get these daily bull divs on your uh, daily time frame, a lot of times it can mark a significant bottom. We've been talking about this for weeks now. Um, you know, ever since we got this four-hour bull div with the money flow coming up, uh, you know, this can also mark significant bottoms. And obviously, we got that signal. We kind of wiggled sideways a little bit, and then bang, we got that big move to the upside. Uh, and then we got that second or that last little drop to the downside to confirm some more bullish divergences on the higher time frames, which I kept saying, you know, would be a little bit more of a clear sign for some significant upside to come in. So my sentiment remains exactly the same, guys. I am going to be looking for a potential continued retracement to the upside here before rolling around and coming back to the downside, right? Just to put in that higher low before coming down and potentially breaking these lows and coming lower. Now, again, based off the daily bull div, now also the two, uh, I'm sorry, the, the uh, that was 12 hour, daily bull div is now confirmed. Also, guys, we are printing somewhat of a two-day bullish divergence here as well. This would technically assist us on our way up. So just another thing to keep an eye on. These all could potentially be pointing to a little bit more of a retracement incoming. And if you take a look here, your four-day green dot is still printing here. We got two hours and 27 minutes to confirm that. Again, that would be a little bit more in line for a continued retracement before rolling around and coming back to the downside. Now, I do want to come down to the lower time frames here and pull up our actual TA. I want to analyze this local price action that we're seeing right now. But real quick, before we break down into that, I do just want to bring up kind of my general sentiment. I'm going to fly through this because I think I've said it about 700 times at this point, and I assume that 99% of you guys watching have already, already know kind of my thoughts on the market right now. And again, because of the daily green dots, the higher time frame or the higher daily time frame green dots, such as the four-day that we just looked at, as well as the two-day bullish divergence printing, um, this is warranting a potential correction to the upside or a retracement. But keyword is retracement here, guys. I am still technically a little bit more bearish in the long term. I'm really looking for this retracement to either bring us up to this purple box right here which is coming in at about between about $27,445 and $26,885. Uh, and if we do get up in there, this is kind of the first spot that I'm looking for a saucy short. However, this is kind of the first level of resistance. There's three major levels. You could kind of think of it as two major levels. But the three major levels that I'm looking at for rejections, if this retracement continues to the upside, is simply that box I just mentioned, as well as if we are able to get above this POC coming in at about $28,050, 
If we can get above that level, the next two levels I'm looking at are closer to the value area high, and it also just happens to be the golden pocket retracement of our entire move down here. As you can see, golden pocket coming in at 28,700, uh, between 287 and 29,000, and then your 786 value area high confluence is coming in at 29,640, uh, between about 29,000. Uh, about 29,500, we'll call it, and then uh, up to about 30,100. And like I've said, week and week, uh, you know, ever since we've been chilling down here at this value area low, I do think the more significant level to look for a short is going to be up at these highs because you have to remember once we are above this value area low, which we are indeed above. This is where we are likely going to see a uh, move to the POC and a potential move up to the value area high just based off of our volume profile laws, right? You hold the value area low, you flip it to support. What happens then? Crate and see. That's right. You go straight to that POC more likely than not. Um, but the, the one thing is this could potentially have been our actual lower high. So I am, again, being cautious around this purple box. And again, we've been talking about this. Uh, for for I can't tell you how many streams uh, we've just seen. I mean, this is probably one of the most, uh, you know, one of the most boring, you know, almost month other than this little uh, scam wick, scam pump and scam dump here. Uh, you know, ba basically one of the most boring months in crypto uh, I've ever witnessed. Right. Uh, and obviously I say that lightheartedly. This was obviously a very boring uh, uh, few days here. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, this was just this whole area has been absolutely brutal. Um, but. Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking at, right? Like first major rejection zone. And then if we break this and we get above that POC, I'm simply looking up to these two next purple boxes for some potential shorts. Uh, and, you know, I, I do think it's probably going to be more likely that we put in a lower high here and roll back to the downside. But once we get up there, we can reassess the situation. And if things look bullish and we may start flipping some of these levels, then we could change our sentiment if it looks like we're going higher. But right now, the sentiment is kind of come up to, uh, you know, either put in a lower high here and go down to lower prices, put in a lower high here or put in a lower high here. These are the three major levels I'm looking at for resistance, but it's all going to come down to finding your confirmations inside these purple boxes. These are our traps, right? You want to set these on your chart. These are your traps. If you are not at this purple box, or for me personally, I am not looking for a trade unless we're inside this purple box. And if I don't get my confirmations, I am simply not going to take the trade, right? And this is how I keep a high probability uh, strategy by not taking trades that aren't actually there, right? So you're sitting on your hands, waiting for price to come up to your short, finding your confirmations, uh, and then and then looking to get into your trades, right? If you don't see the confirmation here, you sit on your hands, wait for your next key level, come up here. If you don't get your, your significant confirmations, you wait to come up to your next level. And if you get your confirmations up there, that's where you're looking for the move down. Um, so there you go, right? Uh, other than that, you know, sentiment really hasn't changed at all. This has been my general sentiment for quite some time. Uh, price just hasn't really done anything. Uh, now, moving on to, before I let you guys go, I do want to take a look at the local price action here. Um, now, obviously, there are two major volume profiles that I am looking at on the local price action. One of them is essentially this kind of broader range, which is a little bit more uh, significant or or more important that uh, when we're looking at kind of the local price action, right? Because this is our uh, you know first significant box of resistance. And when you look at the volume profile here, obviously we've gotten above our value area low. What happened? We came right up to our POC and we are potentially trying to flip that POC to support. If we succeed in doing that, we may be able to make a run for that value area high, again, being that first level that I'll be looking for a scalp short at. Now, with that being said, we do have this other local range that we are looking at. Let me hide that other value area. We have this kind of more local, uh, this little local range here. Now, obviously, guys, um, you know, this is a little less significant just because it's a little more local. However, uh, you can see here we are starting to put in some bearish divergences, right, on the lower time frames, such as the uh, – uh, let's see, yeah, such as the 24-minute. You can see you have your higher highs on your price slightly lower highs on your momentum waves, and your money flow is generally coming out here. And because we are now sitting at this local value area high, obviously we've gotten this, you know, somewhat of a move to the upside. And on last night's live stream, I was talking about how you have to be careful for that retracement to the downside, which we actually wound up getting. Um, we actually had this as a trade setup uh, in the premium Discord. I'm not going to uh, draw it out exactly, but uh, we were essentially looking for a short uh, up at this value area high, looking to ride this thing all the way back down to the value area low, which has some very significant levels within here. However, uh, we did come down to that POC. That was the first TP we hit. Um, and then we wound up coming back up. Uh, 
so, you know, we are getting a little bit of a retracement on this move down. However, uh, you know, when you pull your Fibonacci retracement levels from the low to the high, you can see these are some significant levels I am looking at to the downside. Because one thing that has me sussed out about just randomly ripping to the upside right now is actually lying on the four hour. Um, now, not only do you have the 24 minute bear div, the 15 minute bear div, as well as uh, money flow coming out on some of your other time frames, again, such as the 24 minute. Uh, it's not just that, right? You also have your four hour VWAP starting to roll towards that downside, guys. If we print this red dot on the four hour, this is kind of what I was looking at uh, w when we were looking at this move, rejecting off of this local value area high, trying to get it to come down to the golden pocket. Uh, I was looking for that red dot to print, right? And we just skirted that red dot, got some support on the zero line, but now we are headed back down towards that zero line with the VWAP on the four hour looking to print a red dot. So because of this, we have to be careful that we I do think there is a chance that we could potentially wind up rejecting from this local value area high and potentially get a ride down finally, uh, you know, just like we were before, but finally come down, break that POC. If we are able to come down to this value area low, golden pocket area, this is going to be where I am starting to look for moves to the upside. And the reason being is because this is the golden pocket retracement of the entire move up and because of the confirmed bullish divergences on many of the time frames, not just the four hour, um, but uh, as well as the daily and the two day printing that bull div, <coughs> excuse me, I am going to be looking for a potential continued uptrend even if we start cooling off here because we did get the retracement here a little bit, but because we didn't print this red dot and now and now that the VWAP is finally coming back down, I think this might be where you get the red dot and that might be where we see the retracement come in. So first key level I'm watching is the golden pocket value area low confluence right here between about... 25,616 and 25,453. We obviously want to be keeping an eye on this 786 Fibonacci retracement level as well uh, because we know, you know, obviously if we are going to put in a higher low here and get a bounce, it could happen on the golden pocket. It also could happen on that 786. So locally, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Be careful. We're at a local value area high. We could get the rejection coming back down. Uh, and simply, you could profit off of these moves by simply trading the value area, looking for your shorts at the highs and looking for your longs at the lows. But in the grand scheme of things, we know that if you pull that greater or larger volume profile, really what we are doing here is simply waiting for a small retracement on the local move right? We got the move up. We're looking for a small retracement to put in a higher low and then continue up to our real level of resistance where I would be looking not for a scalp short. Well, I would be looking for scalp shorts here depending on what the charts look like when we get up to this level. Um, if it looks super bearish, I may look for a bigger position assuming this might be the lower high we're looking for. But if we do continue up again based off the green dots printing on the higher daily time frames with the bull divs, I do think there's a chance we could come a little higher. So I will be reassessing the situation when we get up there. But I just want to point out separating the local from, uh, you know, the local from the uh, not macro, but the longer term, right? So the longer term, we're simply... Got the long, right? And we're just looking for this to make it up to this purple box, which includes our bigger value area high. However, we might get a little bit of a retracement here. And I know not everybody trades these small moves, but I do. And we can actually profit off these shorts to get that small retracement down before continuing and profiting off our full long position, if that makes sense. So... Guys, locally, that's what I'm looking for. Waiting for this four-hour red dot to potentially give us a retracement into these key levels. We also have some single prints down here, which would be a great level or uh, a great level of confluence, indicating that it's an untapped level of the chart or an untested area of the chart, and price may want to go down there, fill those single prints, and then come back up to our key level of resistance or our first key level of resistance. But other than that, guys, just playing the local game here, waiting to get a move into our first trap, which still has not been hit, uh, but locally, uh, you know, trying to catch these little shorts locally in this range. And for anybody who may have not gotten into a long position, uh, or you may not be in the premium Discord, so you might have not seen the setup to go long uh, from this level. But if you did miss some of those uh, some of those uh, entries, what you could do potentially is wait to enter in at the low of this local range. Not financial advice, but obviously when you're trading the volume profiles, you're looking for shorts at the highs, longs at the lows. So if you are able to get back down here, you know, you could be, use your simple and basic 
uh, value area trading strategy and look for those long positions as you get to that value area low, knowing that it is your golden pocket retracement level. So guys, I think that's all the time we got for today's little quick market update. Like I said, not much has actually changed. Uh, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of local TA, give you guys a little bit of a market update, let you know, uh, you know, in case you were falling asleep during last, last night's stream, you guys now know my sentiment. Uh, but don't forget, guys, smash that like button on your way out. I appreciate everybody for tuning in and watching this little fake out Frankie Candles live stream premiere thing. Uh, it's 544 right now in my time in the past. So you're probably watching this a little bit late. So I'm going to wrap this up really quickly, guys. But smash that like button. Remember, if we get 550 likes, I will add those spins to tomorrow's wheel spin as well as adding a Frankie Candles hat and a lifetime premium Discord membership to the giveaways on Friday and with all that being said, guys, that's all the time I got for today's fake out live stream YouTube premiere thing. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow while we're actually live at 545 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right after ATB. Shout out to my boy DZ. That's all I got. Frankie Candles out. Bing bong. Here we go, at the top of the class on a roll, and it's time to run it up, yeah you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor, Hey, on a roll, here we go, here we go, yeah we winning by a landslide, never see me coming, I'm a landmine, yeah I ain't taking orders in command light, yeah you about to see me on demand light, you know on demand, if you ain't know, you about to understand, yeah I got the team by my side, right hand. Yeah, take it to a stream. You ain't seen it like that. Yeah, and it's the dream, and we're coming for the bag. Yeah, and we ain't never going back now. Future expediting, now we on the fast track now. They won't lend a hand, now they see us on the map now. It's time to act out. Here we go, at the top of the class on the road. And it's time to run it up, yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the floor. Hey, on the road, here we go, here we go. At the top of the class on a roll, hey, and it's time to run it up, yeah, you know, yeah. Mashed out, put the pedal to the floor, yeah. On a roll, here we go, here we go. talking in chat bro you, you said there was gonna be no fake out on this fake out live stream premiere well the frankie fake out on the fake out live stream premiere is right here dave i'm right here bro i'm just kidding i love you guys i'll see you tomorrow 5 45 p.m eastern standard time that's all i got frank candles out bing bong